Hi, I'm Kelly Peterson Pollard, 23 years old um, from Birmingham and I do judo for Great Britain. Um, I'm currently ranked number 10 in the world and I'm junior European champion. Hi, I'm Emma Reid, um, I'm 27, I'm from Hertfordshire and I'm a Grand Slam gold medalist and ranked 17 in the world at the moment. At the moment. <laughs> <laughs> in my primary school um, so my mum and brother would go on the mat and I'd just sit on the side and then when I turned four they were like oh do you want to come on and I was like okay and then <laughs> I've just stuck with it since. My mum and dad did it like at uni and so they took me down to a, a club their local club when I was about five or six me and my sister so ever since then just been doing it at clubs and then finally came here to the centre. I went to Coventry University and I kind of, I trained a bit but not as much as I do now while I was doing my degree and then once I finished I came here but then people have done it while they're training and, and stuff like that but I did event management and I've got a job with British Judo as well doing events so it was kind of linked. <laughs> so I don't work or anything, just concentrating on Judo. Um, but I'm doing a degree here, where I've actually just finished mm -hmm. um, exercise and health. So I'm not really sure what I want to go into after. Um, I think I want to stay in sport and something along that lines. But yeah, currently just training. Yeah, no, I think it's for all ages. Like at the at my local club, you have really little kids who are just starting off, or you have. Uh, older people what are also beginners um, so yeah you can go through all different ages and you've got the masters tournament as well and stuff yeah. like that so yeah at, at my club there's like the little kiddies and then their parents kind of watch and they're like oh I actually want to go on with them or like at the later sessions so that brings them in but for competitive I think people have started later haven't they yeah. like teenagers and stuff and still been just as successful, so yeah. Most days there'll always be two sessions. Probably round or it's fighting, you'll do about three times a week, won't yeah. you? Um, and gym, three, four times a week as well. Yeah. Well, Emma, probably yeah. every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we both do like conditioning and weights. I, do, I tend to do more weights because I'm trying to bulk at the moment, so I'll have heavier, side of the weights and conditioning but then you're di we're all different so we just pick what works for us in our program really. I think women in judo are really accepted like I think I don't think there's any difference. It's one of the best ones I think for yeah. sport where it's not as much difference in male and female. Yeah. Um, but I think in judo it's definitely no different like my old training partner was a boy. Um, we trained together for years and there was no, um, like, there was nothing different about that. Like, we went to Japan together to train. Like, no, you don't think anything of it. It's just your training partner and that's that, male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, in the centre, in our national centre, we're actually male and female and visually impaired all in here at the same time. So it's really, um, like, open to everyone. Yeah. I don't think there's any like separation. No, I think, yeah, it's the whole like, the whole women in sport has helped, but then because we weren't around in the 60s, we wouldn't, we wouldn't know how the culture changed then, but I think there were some tough girls back then that probably pushed it through that they were like, no, I'm going to fight the men, I'm going to, and it kind of helped us now to be yeah. pretty equal. Yeah. I think some girls might be a bit nervous coming in and having all the boys or have, thinking they're going to fight the boys. So like having an all girls camp maybe, or we we sometimes do like master classes to kind of go to clubs and get get like younger people inspired, I guess, to stay in. Because I think a lot of people actually do the judo, but then they don't stay on. So that's it's like retaining all the members. And, yeah. yeah, I think also having. So there's quite a few of us and we're trying to we're trying to post a lot more now on Instagram and stuff yeah. like that. And we are getting like younger girls like message us like the other the other week. Mm -hmm. um, and so that shows that it's slowly like inspiring them. 
Um, and I think through our social media, you see both sides. Like you'll see me hair like this, sweaty mm -hmm. and like fighting on the mat. But oh. I think through our social media, you'll see we've got both sides. So I think that's nice. And I think that might bring more girls to get involved. I think, I think they worry like you're gonna look all muscly and whatever, but when you're like happy in your skin and like posting it on Instagram, then other people are like, oh, she's happy like that. But yeah, I think as a whole, judo is, it's not really divided in, in a way like that. And it's yeah. not any diff more, it's not harder if you're a female or a male, like it's pretty much the same yeah. for everyone. Um, I think there's not much science at the moment really behind it in terms of like, for me, for an example, I don't really experience bad period pain. So if I train, I don't really notice, but then there's the small things like, uh, the, the difference in hormones that you, you can't even notice but you might feel rubbish one day and it could be down to the period but you don't really know so I think hopefully in the future when more research is in it then yeah. it'll help our training. Yeah. So when you're on your period it's a little bit awkward when you're in a white judo kit <laughs> that always makes yeah, you a little bit like more check. conscious. Um, Hydration, definitely, especially when it's hot and you're on a session, you need to make sure you have it, yeah. I think sleep <laughs> and rest yeah. is as important, uh, especially for us as full-time athletes. Like, after session, most of the time, we'll be relaxing somewhere, um, go home most of the time, won't we? And, and number three, well, be happy. yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> just be happy, just enjoy, enjoy it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take it all in and just yeah. enjoy it. Because you get bogged down sometimes on like making way or like being away from home, but I mean, sometimes you've got to be like, I'm sat by a pool in Spain, like, I just enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs>